relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. When you sick, you need medicine. It don't always taste good. Oh, nah. But it'll get you better. You, you, you need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good. But this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was before I was me? I was you. you. Man score 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't. Ah, uh, yeah. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do to sexual revolution to be a podcaster? And I am excited. Uh, this is a special show. Um, and I know I've said that 400 times before, but this time I mean it. Let me tell you finally, why, Harry. Finally. I don't, know, I don't know if you know why. I think I know why. Why? I think I know why. Because we got a why? special guest for the first we time. We do have a, we do have again, a special guest. We lie guest. about how special that person is. We but do this lie. One is, we've got some requests for this one. We, we have. We got some requests. Yeah. Are you ready to rock and roll? I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm ready. It's, the new, it's Happy New Year, first of all. By the time this airs, it's happy the New, new Year. Happy New Year, brother. Happy, happy New Year. Happy New Year. 2021, the year Andre gets clean and sober and he uh, gets clean and off the block, you know. Off the block. He's off the block? He's son. off the block. Yo, Andre, you off the block, son? I want Harry to get off the carbs. Fuck up, fat boy. Oh, I don't want hear no more of your stupid jokes. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You're getting mean. Christ. I thought 2021 we were having. We're just trying 2021, to 2021, not taking no shit. Young and violent. Uh. Oh, boy. <laughs> not good. I think 2021 is the year we lose Andre finally to the streets. <laughs> we lose him to the streets. I'm not saying gang amazing. violence. I'm saying he's going to get so high he just gets lost in the streets one day. He's going to lost in the Basie <laughs> Pond. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> said he was going up Canarsie, and then he never returned. Made two lefts and none right. I'm back. Yo, um... But let's introduce the guest, because this is a... That. This is a special one. The the this fantastic... Uh, a a always a lot of great stories, and um, we we're trying to find out... I know there's more great stories, because she's always doing something adventurous. The fantastic... We just talked about, just talked about her uh, getting uh, high on Scott State. That's okay. right. The fantastic the Wendy Starling. Yeah! <laughs> Hi, guys. How are you? Andre, hey. stop. I was doing her intro music. We discussed this before the show. You were who, late, sir. Who discussed your intro music? Me, Wendy, and her managers. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> and nobody discussed it with me. Stop no. doing the dumb music. <laughs> it was for her. You're jealous because you didn't get any. I didn't want none. I got my own music. I got Wait, my own music. Go ahead. And, and candies, that? apparently. Are we back to eating on the air? Did we learn nothing from the last uh -huh. episode? Look at where... y'all. Aggressive. Look at y'all. Y'all don't know how to act when we have a lady in the room. <laughs> Wait. Did something First happen last episode specifically with the candies? Because every time, and I'm not talking shit. I'm just stating facts. I think every time I've been in studio with yeah. you guys, Dante's eating some kind of a candy or <laughs> yeah. snack. Well, so did, some, did he almost choke on one last Um. No, Harry just gets mad because I be smacking <laughs> while, while I be Stop smacking. Stop trying to make it mic. sound cool and street. It, you're talking on the microphone with food smacking. in your mouth. <laughs> and it becomes illegible. Last time he sounded like Rich Voss, like he had a speech impediment. I was like, I got some new teeth. And I was like, this is enough. What the fuck are we doing? This is crazy. <laughs> And I was like, could we just, for the love of God, stop of it? Just look at the YouTube comments. People, people tolerate it because they love you, but they, they notice they it. Said some, they said something about it? They said something. They don't stop. They Every say? clip. What'd they say? What'd they say? <laughs> what they say? What they said about me smacking. Like, Yo, what flavor he eating? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm like, ah, oh they want to be on it. <laughs> so we're doing another one of those, huh? 
no, this no, is no. your we fault, don't. Harry, because you're negative. How am I negative? You approach the show in a very no, no. negative I want, way. I want people to hear it. I know that's a crazy request that people well, hear the audio. I will say, I like the smacking sound because it's like an auditory version of the LL Cool J lip looking uh, thing. Oh, uh, get so, it. Uh, uh, I, like, I, uh, I like the lip smacking because it's like... Uh, um, yeah, you got an LL Cool J thing. The problem is Dante ain't no LL Cool J. That's like that. You know what it sounds like if you just close your eyes, just listen, just to the smacking, even through the talking. That's like ASMR for pussy eating. It sounds like someone's going oh, down on okay. you and also being like, "How was your day?" So it sounds like, <laughs> as a woman, I love it because I'm like, ah, "What a nice guy! What a nice, a guy. nice guy!" I, I like the way that guy smacks. <laughs> Wendy, when I think clopping. psychologically everything you do leads to pussy eating, though. Somehow you're like, the way that guy drinks water. That's why she has a very positive disposition. Yeah. Right. <laughs> always having a good day. It's kind of like. Always smiling. <laughs> it's kind of like for a carpenter, everything is a nail. You ever hear that expression? Yep. Carpenter, yeah. What is it? Carpenter walks in the funeral and goes, what is this, oak? This is a nice <laughs> Wendy walking, drop her newspaper, <laughs> bend over, pick it up. She's like, the wind wanted to eat my pussy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, That's for Carpenter, reason. everything is nails. For me, is everything getting nailed. I'm like, there I'm about go. to get nailed. fucking nailed <laughs> and railed and pinned to a wall. Yeah. So, Wendy, Jeez. I want to find out what's going on because I know last time we, I mean, you've been on, it's been a bit bit since you've been on the show. Mm -hmm. I know we, uh, you're very open about the sugar daddy thing, but since that time, you're no longer in New York, right? You have, uh, you've left the city, correct? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When, when, to, where are you? Where are you? I'm in St. Louis, baby. Oh, I'm in the shit. Lou. I with Nelly. Yeah, oh, me and Nelly. Oh, God. I just put Who my on all the time. Uh, I don't need them. Air Force Ones. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she got a... Yeah, me. <laughs> Wendy got a, a Band-Aid on her pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just on the left side. Only on the left exactly. side. Yeah. One, one lip. <laughs> and it's Only also on the left side, because, yeah, that's the Crip side. That's where ah. I keep my... My pussy lit band-aids. For some reason, it's also wearing a St. Louis Rams jersey. The whole thing is very odd. But it's real. Yeah. It's cropped real short, so the yeah. cooch right. is out. Right, and I dyed my pussy hair purple and yellow for the Saints. So I'm uh, trying to like, be very... Who that? Who that? Shout out to Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> what? What? Black and yellow. Black and yellow. Oh, oh okay. wrong team. I'm high. Song song, sorry. Yeah. Yep. We just said, she yeah. just said purple, too. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think the Saints are purple, but let's, we don't have to worry about that. The point is... Saints are like we're, brown, right? No, they're black and gold, gold. I I, yeah, I don't gold, know. Everything here is matter. purple and yellow. I live in a part of St. Louis that is where they have the second biggest Mardi Gras yes. festival in the world. So I'm in Soulard. Yeah. Every Everyone here has got purple and yellow. So whatever the fuck Ain't that is. Ain't that what they say? Who that? Who that? Who that gonna I, beat them? Saints, I think. Um, that's that's New Orleans, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, it ain't New York, so Ew, yeah. yeah, exactly. That's how I feel. <laughs> okay, that's why I don't brush my hair. People are like, You gonna like I'm not in New York. What the fuck do I give a shit about anything? I so, like, I mean, they're like, yo, your hair looks beautiful. You like what? So what know. I like about Wendy is instead of continuing to be like in uh, you know, like decided to be a St. Louis 10. She's like, no, I'm just going to drop my standards and keep, <laughs> and keep it at a, at a seven or eight. Right. I want to stay night right at a seven, eight. Can I tell you? I yes, like right now can. I'm wearing, I went off a run. It's like 25 degrees. I'm wearing two layers of pants. I had on three sweatshirts and a big, over. I still dudes in pickup trucks that probably are murderers will stop and check me out in many layers of clothes because yeah. and I'm not trying to talk shit, respect and love to everyone. The chicks out here are fucking A garbage. Woo! I mean, they look, like they, get, they look like they can chop wood. Yes, they look like they chop wood and they eat it if they, you know, in between their meals. They are. Oh, this like reminds me of Charles Barkley. Up. He got in trouble for saying all the women. San Antonio, down there. San Antonio. Some big ladies. Got them big old, got them big old girls big old down in San Antonio. Victoria, they, you know, Victoria don't know the secret in San Antonio. Because they be eating no. them churros. That's how it is. They, eat them churros. they be double fisting them churros. Hey, in San Antonio. Hey, that's so, big, hey, that's some big old woman down there in San Antonio. Uh, San Antonio, so, man. San Antonio, man. Ain't no man. Hey, Kenny. Uh, hey, that's some old big old guy. Hey, they got some Kenny. big old drawers in San Antonio, <laughs> man. So now, Wendy, you went down. Now, what what brought you out to St. Louis? First of all, like, um, because. I, I don't know if you guys know, if your listeners know this, there was a global pandemic that yeah. shut down the fucking no, world. We didn't, 
win. <laughs> I know. Now, wow. I was on the Upper East Side of Manhattan in a studio apartment for which I was paying $2,300 a month, which is... For Manhattan prices, not shocking. Not crazy, yeah, considering. It's not crazy. It was a great apartment. For Manhattan, yeah. Correct, for Manhattan. And um, when live performing shut down, I lost about, because I produced a show there and just doing club spots. So I lost a few grand a month out of that. And I was like, okay. But I still had two sugar daddies. Well, guess what? All the rich people got the fuck out of Manhattan. And then stand up we were doing like shows in the park and cops are shutting that down so i was like both of my jobs are illegal i cannot afford to stay here so i went on zillow and i know one person that lives here i went on zillow and i was like i gotta find a cheaper place to live i need to lower my overhead because I. So how much money. is your place now <laughs> it is a 600 square foot loft studio with like a private stairwell it's really nice it costs <clears throat> five three five wow a month <laughs> yeah. how much could you get a three bedroom for that out there oh if you're renting eight hundred dollars it's fucking cheap as shit cigarettes are like four or five dollars a pack smoking is bad don't do it but if you do smoke i mean fucking move here <laughs> shit it's okay wild. but look how what's the price of pussy out there though Everything oh, goes down. <laughs> Everything <the> goes down. <laughs> no, it's the same. It's For the same. It's the same. It's pussy's the same. The same? Yeah. No matter where you go, pussy's the same. <laughs> it's the same. It's the mm. one thing that does not lose value as you move to different regions. It only moves lose value as you get older. I mean, like, bitch, nah, I ain't paying for that. So. Yeah. Well, what's interesting here is because, and I did, I met someone here. I went back on the site. Because I like I said, I knew one person and I'm like, well, I would like to get some dick because it's not like I'm not it's not just that, like a pretty I mean, not, It's not like we're savages, right? Right. I'm trying to get regular dick with someone that I know is not going to be running around and bringing COVID or whatever or any. I mean, other like that's the one disease I care about. I'm like, hey, it's fine. <laughs> I probably already got it. I'm, but, but I do not want to have a cough. You if I get a sore throat. <laughs> you can't suck dick with a sore throat. Yeah, I know. But here, well, for Wendy, it's not just a sickness. I mean, that's then it, now it's literally a sick day. She's like, I got to call out a, you know. <laughs> I got to call be. out sick. <laughs> yeah. You want to know? I was, I was being a smart ass talking to my friend. It was when, I, when COVID very first hit and I was running my mouth like, yeah, if I get it, it's fine. What do I give a shit? It's not like my job is to like make out with old people. And then I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> that's <fuck."> exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly what my job is. Oh, that's <laughs> literally what my oh, job is. <laughs> so it's like, pick out an apartment building. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But here... A lot of people that live here are successful, and because the cost of living is so low, they they live in oh, like crazy. They a lot of people that they got live a lot here, of discretionary income. They do, baby. They're making Manhattan income. They're making like rich Manhattan income, but they're living in St. Louis where their mortgage is six hundred bucks. So they have got disposable income and a fat ass wife. So I'm like, <laughs> I was like, it's fish you are cleaning barrel. up. Yeah. You are cleaning up. Wendy's like uh, the, the 49ers that went out to the West Coast for, for gold. <laughs> She's like, this is the, a, the, You just mean the real, 49, yeah. the real 49 like The real 49 is like the panhandlers. Yeah. Jesus, Wendy is killing it. Can, Wendy's, d d learn, Wendy's turning tricks in a pageant dress. She don't give a fuck. <laughs> I know. I mean, I love it here. It's nice. Like, it's... um. It's very chill, easy way of life. And my level of stress went down. Not, you know, when you're stressed out, like every day, like how am I going to pay rent? What the fuck? What the fuck? So I have a bigger place. So I'm able to like be more creative and work. And I just got on TikTok and I put some sugar daddy thing up there. And my shit is like blowing Dang up. It. I got 4,000 new followers yesterday and one day on TikTok. Fuck you. Wow. Really? Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's I love it. I thought it was going to be dumb. I'm like, whatever. I've done, you know, nothing but time. And so it's great. I got a bunch of like hot fucking chicks following me. Really? Do oh, they, oh that's turn, interesting. So it's the you turn other. Chicks with, with, you turn tricks with chicks too? Tricks oh, no. Chicks. I have these chicks. Well, I have to be careful about what I'm putting on TikTok because I put the sugar daddy jokes you up. It bend real easy. Yeah. And everyone's like, how do I get a sugar daddy? And they took it down. And I had to say, oh, these are literally jokes. And you have 19 year old girls on there wearing white leggings with visible camel toe, giving detailed like instructions Which on how accounts? to get and be specific. <laughs> <laughs> I'll like, put the uh, link in there. Give us the at mentions, please. There are chicks on there that are giving detailed instructions on 
kind of like the female version of what Dante does here, which is this is how to fucking get men to do what you want, when you want to take all their goddamn money and you don't have to look at their dick or touch their gross bodies. Uh, so there are accounts like that that stay up. That's fine. And I put a sugar daddy joke. They're funny jokes, but somebody flagged it for illegal activity and like the selling of goods. And I was like, first of all, I'm not selling anything good. So that flag <laughs> does not work. So take that off. But I had to tell them I'm literally a comedian. These, and they these let are, you, these did are jokes. they let so they you off? Back up. Yeah. They put the video back up. Oh, oh so you put a video of you doing comedy or just you, you talking about it. What I did. And if you're on my TikTok, uh, don't listen to this. These are not jokes I've ever practiced. This is stuff I'm thinking about in the moment for the first time ever, and I'm saying it to camera. What I've started doing is my jokes. I know people are putting clips of their stand-up, but a lot of the videos, it's front-facing, and they like that confessional. It feels very like, yeah. like you're just having a conversation. So right. I've taken my jokes that are shorter jokes, that, and I have a very conversational. I kind of like yours, Dante, like similar where it comes like mm -hmm. a story, and yeah. I'll just pull them and say them to camera in a little bit of a different feel and clip that up and people fucking lose their mind because they're like, look at this whore and she's funny. And it's like, no, no, it's the opposite. <laughs> I'm a funny person that accidentally <laughs> found someone to pay for my pussy. <laughs> yeah. You went and on so, the back end. You went yeah, into yeah, the I, kitchen. Exactly. I'm like, no, 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 the funny part, that was already there. <laughs> but some people are just like, look at this fucking stupid prostitute. She can make sentences? Follow, follow she don't have no flannel on. This yeah. is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Them big yeah. old girls in San Antonio, <laughs> double fisting churros. So that Wendy, so fucking funny. How many? Uh, so is the number higher now? I don't remember what you were. I mean, you always fluctuated with the number of sugar daddies that you had in New York. But I, if I remember two. it was like two that were consistent or something, mm -hmm. and one you liked. Yes. <laughs> And when you correct. didn't, and so when you how, were like, you gotta is, get drunk as shit to to fucking. Pull that was through. a nightmare. Yep, that was a nightmare. Um, yeah. so I have one here, right? And I have here. So here's an interesting fact. I actually, I technically have two here, but one because of COVID, I saw once, and he lives a little bit away. He can't come into the city to see me because his work is shut down. He is not a single person. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Now. But here, here's the great thing. We've just been like texting. He, I haven't seen him for a couple months and I'm actually sad because he's hot as fuck, but I just can't see him. We text back and forth and he just still sends me money. Oh boy. Just so to he's, text and I'll send so him pictures. And extra excited about this vaccine. He's like, come on, Fauci, get this shit out of here. <laughs> he's like, yeah. all for them shits. Hurry the fuck up. I got to get back to work. <laughs> the Pfizer one, the three day, what the doubles. Win, bro. <laughs> I know. I just send him pictures it, of my, my pussy and my ass. I, whatever I put on OnlyFans, I send to him. Oh, wow. <laughs> I just and do then, one picture for three different purposes. <laughs> that's a great way to handle your yeah. social media. <laughs> Wendy's all about efficiency and multitasking and repurposing. How can we get more out of this pussy uh, shop? I mean, <laughs> right. it's, it's a great pussy shop, but I mean, are we doing everything we can? Let's have a meeting nah. here. I was so happy when Harry said it was you. I miss you. I miss you, too. How are you? What's going on? How's your baby? How's your family? My baby's giant, yo. He's a giant fucking baby. He's Is like, he a big so, boy? Somebody, somebody looked at his picture the other day and was like, uh, yo, how, how old's your baby? Three? I was like, nigga, he's one. <laughs> you know he's, the... Uh, he's going to get so big that it's going to be like, in two more months, if it doesn't stop, then we all got to be concerned. You're like, hey, man, this is... <laughs> This isn't, this isn't funny anymore. What's going on? With well, baby. something's up. You got a baby. Andre the Giant on your hands, bro. He is. He's like, why you don't? Why you don't want to be the family? I want the baby, bro. <laughs> um, I want I don't to like watch the almond milk. Yeah. I want to watch Peppa Pig right now. <laughs> yeah, and he don't. He don't pay me no attention at all. What? Just, no. Because his mom is his mom is so you know she's so good she's such a good mom she oh. like she's in his face all the time and I'm like when he falls I'm like yo get up and and he's like 
That's weird that he's not really wanting to hang out with you. He's like, okay, these are my two <laughs> options. One person who's like, I love you, I love you. Don't I love you so much? Are you okay? And so then this other dude who I kind of look like. It's this asshole that looks just like me. Get up, me, nigga. Yeah, he just screams <laughs> at me and tells me to stop being such a bitch. He, fall, he falls, I, he falls, I go, you did it. <laughs> Dante is just like, he acts like Mickey and Rocky. Like, get up. Get up, Rock. He's trying to baby. Jada get up, damn it. To him. <laughs> he only let me see when he fuck. He fucks with me uh, only when we sleeping. He likes cuddling up next to me. That's it. But other than that, he don't like. That's I'll come in. I, I, I'll, I'll come in. I'll be like, <laughs> I know. That's what he does. I come in. I'll be like, Hey, man, what? He just like mm. whatever. You know what I wondered, <laughs> Dante? Do you think maybe he secretly has been like? Uh, absorbing your show throughout the pregnancy and his baby, and May, so he's probably. just doing to you what you say to do to women. He's like, I'm gonna make my dad love me. I'm gonna ignore this motherfucker. I'm gonna. He don't. Up. He don't understand. I don't even walk in and speak to him now. I just walk by, go <laughs> put the TV on. We both like, yo, come on. I invented this shit, son. You're not going. You nagging me? Come on, get out of here. You guys are just <laughs> nagging each other. I'm gonna both need the illest therapy ever available. <laughs> They're gonna be in the living room trying to cut each other with swords. He just be shit. like, he, I swear to God, he just be like, like, hey man, hey. He's like, nah, son. Um, mm. He don't even take the toothpick out of his mouth anymore. Nah, he's he just don't. Respectful. <laughs> he's like, come on, dog. I'm like, you in you in? The, why you in the bed with Timberlands? He be wilding out. They, he's walking now though. He just start walking. Oh, cute. Oh, good. Yeah. So now he can, like, stomp around and really let you know he doesn't yeah. care what you're He started to? walking the day after Christmas, and then and uh, uh, like yesterday he was styling because he was drinking the sippy cup and walking at the same time, just like, like, a, like a drunk dude. Just like, ah. So. Someone at the end of Mardi Gras? <laughs> at the end of tonight. <laughs> like, he won't fall down, but he's still wobbly. I don't know time. where he got the beads from, son. I don't know where he got the beads from. <laughs> but it's wow. It's, it's wow. It's good to see you, though. It's good. You look happy, though. Hey, I am. Well, I was telling them, like, I mean, I would go off and on with drinking, but since I moved here, because I, I like to have a couple glasses of wine, but I really like to do cocaine and i don't trust the drugs out here and it's just like everything got fentanyl in it yeah and honestly like there's i I like doing drugs i realize this i i like to have a good time and party but i don't like to do it just for the chemicals like i got very lucky and the first time i did cocaine was in a four-story penthouse with a bunch of fucking rich hot people so those are my drug standards so if i'm gonna do (laughs) like trash people shit i want to at least pretend it's not trashy by doing it with rich people in a nice apartment okay fair enough so i'm here i'm not drinking and i do i feel better i feel a lot better being out here honestly the stress uh, that's, no. that's weird that no cocaine and no alcohol would make you feel better at, at, at health wise. I mean, it's just weird. It's weird. It's weird, yeah. right? <laughs> I like that it's a mystery to you. You're like, I just is something about it. I don't know. I mean, uh, yeah, I still haven't figured it out. But um, yeah. has anything like? Uh, I know you're happier out there. Are you? It's a. Is it a permanent move for you out there? Are you? Or do you think you um, might switch back when it's? No, I don't know. It's where you guys are all still in New York, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Honestly, I don't know because I was just trying to figure out when, because like with everyone, a lot of people when COVID hit, I was just like, what the fuck? And that documentary came out that those people made about me, not to get serious for a second. Wait, what documentary? What? Okay. These people, when I first moved to New York, I was at a bar show and these guys afterwards approached me or this one guy and said, I'm making a documentary. I want to make a documentary about a comedian that's not famous. I th- I've been going to open mics and I think you're really funny and I'd love to follow you. You seem really interesting. And I was still drunk from the night before and I was like, yeah, whatever, fucking here's my phone number. So they followed me for like two and a half years and made a documentary about me. They got together with different distributors. It's a whole long story. They, they put panel in with famous comedians and they got in with people who were like, we need to beef this up with famous people so we can sell it overseas and try to make more money. Uh huh. And I think what they did is instead of just making the story just about me, they put a lot of shit in to try to get a big return it on it. Yeah, yeah. Right. In the process, I think they, it's not what it could have been. It's not my film. 
I didn't whatever. It's their whole thing. Uh, but when that movie came out for the last, I would say, two years, yeah. they were stringing me along like any day now where you're going to get $20,000 advance and then we're going to split 30% of the revenue that we get from our company. And that wasn't a contract we signed. And I believed them and I trusted them. Fast forward, they start to be progressively shittier to me. They keep dangling this carrot of a 20K advance. I'm like, I, and I believed them because I'm not a liar. So I don't think other people are trying to fuck me over. It got released in May under quarantine, May of last year. They released a super last minute. And before they released it, they were like, we need you to sign a new contract, which is basically I'm the last person to get paid after the fucking key grip. And it was, the, and I couldn't say anything bad about the film because they were cunts to me. Uh, I didn't sign the new contract. I said, I want to stick with the old one. And they said, oh, you know what? We can't find the old one. So we're just going to release it with just the talent release that you signed. So they put out, there's a full length feature documentary. Yeah, but you have a, you have the, con your, your side of the I don't. Why I don't not? have a copy. Because when I first met them, and this is a lesson, I didn't know to oh, get boy. a copy of it. I didn't have a manager. I was like, yeah, I signed it and sent it to them. And I trusted them. And when I asked, they're like, oh, we don't have a copy of that. And I was like, but that's the one that I signed. And they were like, okay, fine. We'll stick with the original one. Here, sign it. So I signed that one. And then I sent it back. And they're like, psych, we changed our mind. Just the talent release. So that movie came out. I mean, I was like. And they didn't give you anything. They didn't even give me a copy of the movie, dude. I said, can I get a copy of film? And they said, no, you have to buy it off Amazon. Wow. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, and the home videos that my mother sent to them so that they could use, like, of me when I was a kid. Yeah. They returned those to my mom in a big box with no packing tape. So it was, like, jangling like a fucking maraca. Broke and they them broke, up. Yep. How many of them we broke? Uh, there was only one broken, but there were four in there. So these guys were real cunts. So that was my quarantine, was I was like, here comes this thing. I'm going to get this little nugget of money. That'll help me last so I'm not just sitting around thinking of ways to kill myself when right. I should have, you know, when a lot of people were like, Okay, re-strategize, rebuild your business online. There's some people that were able to do that right away. Other people went into like depression and fucking straight up psychosis with all this. Right. That's how that's how fucked up show business is that Wendy was like, you know what, I can't handle this anymore. I'm just gonna stick to my the wholesome business of fucking for money. <laughs> Something it's, good and decent. You but know? it's simple. It's, it's simple. Simple and true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Instead of show business. I'll go. And to they gotta come back. They love. can't duck you. Exactly. Well, that's the thing. And they backed themselves into a corner because the reviews are all, it didn't, the reviews aren't great, but the, the reviews, I've started reading them. The reviews are all, Wendy's great. We love her. The editing is shit. So now can, is can you say something about the movie? I can say whatever the fuck I want because they, they, why put, don't you get I, a lawyer? Because I might later, I want to make sure, I want to wait till they get a little money. And I, and even though TikTok, but you guys are in, show business so this doesn't sound silly to you any other adult is like tiktok get over yourself but tiktok i'm gaining so many followers so rapidly under uh, under kind of like my control talking about uh, what i want to talk about which is right. the shit that we talk about here on the show and right and right so i want to build up that fan base and get that following and, and so you can use them as leverage Correct. To be like, look, I made a name for myself on my own. And then if people, because what will happen is people will start watching that movie and be like, this is really cool. And I'll be like, isn't it cool? They never paid me. And here are all these emails where they were cunts. And then I'll be able to get a lawyer. Do you, have, do you have um uh email where they said we can't find the contract? Yeah. So are they done then? Oh, they're fucked. And on the talent release. Oh, they ha I have. I have. And I'm here's the thing. We're talking about this before we started recording. I watch Shark Tank fucking all day long. They try. They were trying to trick me. They don't know the difference between revenue and profit. And I had to be I just kept replying the same according to the language of the original contract. Mm -hmm. And they were so pissed. And I was like, you stupid motherfuckers. They, wow. So they would be fucked if I but I don't know that it's made enough money. And, you know, I, it's I'm trying to not be vengeful. It's not a good way to live, but I'll probably in like a year. I'll come for them. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't think that's vengeful. It's just a matter of some getting paid for what you what you owed, right? So, yeah, yeah and my I don't face think... is on the cover of the fucking thing. Really? So when people get, they're like, I can't believe you disrespect yourself by doing sex work. It's like, okay, but nobody had any, nobody had a problem with me promoting a movie where they literally exploited my entire life and childhood. You know, pictures of me as a little kid. Yeah, I didn't get paid for that. No one was like, Wendy, you should respect yourself. Mm -hmm. 
Yo, what kind of lion you have? That's a fucking huge ass cat. What the fuck? <laughs> my cat. So this is Sebastian. This is my cat. He's a big boy. <laughs> He's yeah, like my, big boy. my son could ride that, uh, him. St. Louis barbecue too. <laughs> I know he weighs like fifteen pounds. Yeah, that's a big ass cat. He's a big boy. He's tall too. He's I not fat. Also, forget that cats come in like different species and breeds and shit. Mm -hmm. I don't. I always think of just cat. I don't or, like see them the same way I see dogs, where you see a, a huge variety of dogs. But it's sometimes, hard to tell some, cats. Sometimes you should just use your inside voice. Sometimes. Cats just be like either you know, they make it or they oh, be yeah, like a I, little bit of different colors. I forgot. Oh yeah, Andre's high, and now we're looking at a cat. We could do. We could talk about cats for hours, and then we'll talk about birds and how they're really <laughs> dinosaurs. I want to ask you this though before we move on. Okay. Can uh -oh. Dante or Harry okay. identify multiple breeds of cats just by sight, the way you can do for dogs. I, I can, can. I can tell they look differently, but I don't like cats I can. necessarily. So, I don't so your answer is no, but you're trying. And Dante, what? please name five cat breeds: Burmese, this Siamese, is the worst game Persian, show host ever. Uh, oh, you know short what? Hair. Is, you know what? I fucked myself up because this is the same way I could like identify fucking Mandarin between Cantonese. You just know this because you just you just know shit. Yeah, that's why. That's why, have, that's why we have. That's why we have a show, Andre. You know that, right? Because I know. Oh, whatever, man. I know how to game work with you, <laughs> but fuck you, Harry. I won with you, Harry Dante. I see you another time, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? I, I do. I What's like wrong with him, he Andre? In, he inhaled a Thanksgiving Day float. Full of weed <laughs> before the show, and, and every, like, what's the he, mystery of? He inhaled <laughs> underdog. Yeah, okay, Thanksgiving Day float is fucking funny, bro. Dre, I'm you not, like Dre? How many bags did you did you do today? Nope, two, two. Hold how, on, when, when did you do first the first answer? Was nope. First answer no, 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 was the nope. First one was this Correction. one. Two. The first one was upon one. further review was two. Because I thought he was gonna ask me how many I did. When when did you have the first one? When when did you have the first one? Like right before you called, because I was. Oh, I was, so you had two right now? Pretty much, yeah. Like a quick space. Oh God. So one completely, I didn't see that one, and one was like, "What up, though?" And then, <laughs> You know? This is going to be used years later in the yeah. documentary where Andre's career went off the rails due to and this, and this is when Andre's career went off the rails. And then he's not going to get paid for that documentary because it's made by the same people who <laughs> fucked over Wendy. Exactly. These, I mean, it's wild. But Andre's yeah. going to be famous, and they're going <laughs> to. And this is the footage we're going to use. And, and you'll be. <laughs> I was going to say, and you'll be so high that you'll forget that I told you to get a copy of her contract. It's behind the music. Andre's behind He's, the music. Andre's like, I don't have a copy of my contract, but I can tell you the difference between a Cantonese and a Mandarin person, which was the wildest thing when you talk about cats. So like, you know, oh, yeah. like, you just go one random fact for no reason. It's one of those things. He just probably just know those five fucking cats for no reason now. Nah, I know cats. Dog. Burmese was now a you a cat pull. man. We, uh, Burmese was heavy? Really? That was great. That was a deep pull. I liked it. How about Maine Coon? Those are cute. Hey, that's <laughs> that's a rough word, Dante. You stop calling people <laughs> exactly, that. Exactly, Harry, because the, you don't know nothing about no fucking cats. You, that's, you just see that's, a cat. what, that's what they call uh, Terry Crews. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Maine Coon. <laughs> the Maine Coon. <laughs> There's a bunch of them, but he's the main one. They call the Steve. Leader. They call Stevie, Steve, Steve Harvey, the other coon. Mm, his main coon. He's secondary, <laughs> alternate. But the main coon is Terry Crews. You want to talk? Hey. Oh, you want to talk to the main guy? You got to talk to the main guy. That's Terry. <laughs> he's in the back doing. Pull I had a I had a rat infestation, right? And so I was going to buy a Maine Coon, and I was researching different cats, like the pharaoh cat, Burmese, skinless Egyptian. Uh, skinless shit short, is sick all the time. Pe Pekingese. Nah, some of them are hardy. Pekingese. Um, I, got, I know, like, a lot of cat, a lot of tabbies. That's why. See, it was something that came up. You know, when you when you a person that have a rat issue, you're gonna find out shit about rat issue shit. So now you know about the cat. Nah, cause I could have just got. Now, a had cat. I caught you before that rat shit caught you, bro? 
You would have not known about nah, cats. Nah, son, I knew man. cats. As much as oh, I would now love. You cat man. And, and believe me, I would love <laughs> to keep talking about cats between the two of you fucking potheads <laughs> right now. <laughs> Nothing would be more pleasure than to keep this fucking awful conversation going. Uh, no let's what? get back to Wendy and what Wendy. she's doing on. And, <laughs> and Wendy's cat is a tabby. Yep, he's a brown tabby. He is such a good boy. See? He's tall like how tall he is. Bang. You see, Andre? I know stuff. I will never upload this as a single clip, <laughs> just so you know, with all the clips. <laughs> Until Harry, the day I upload this is the day yeah. I quit the show. This will probably go viral. Like Dante names sp uh, species of cats. Bam. Uh, Three million hits. And what you do is to trick cats. people because we all Plus are we tricksters. Pussy by pussy. Yeah. Exactly. Dante uh, knows pussy. Dante talks about <laughs> pussy for seven Dante minutes. Dante names... Three different different kinds of pussies. Bam. That's the that's the, the clickbait. <laughs> Wendy, how would you what what breed would your pussy be if you had to say if we're talking about actual pussies and not cats? Um I don't know. I would mm. obviously the first thing is I'm trying to think of what well right now, hairless? No. Oh, yes, okay. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check. <laughs> a hairless. <laughs> right now, the type of pussy I have is bleeding. So oh, wow. that's for the boy. Oh. Yeah. Roadkill. I just started gotcha. my period. Yeah, roadkill puss. I mean, yo, we run red lights. Bam, <laughs> Harry, I'm saying. I obey the law. I know. We, I didn't put you in it. You said we, bro. I said, Harry, we run lights. I didn't even put you in it, son. I run a couple lights in my day. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> son, I never stop for a stop sign. Never. I mean, there's oh, no reason will... to. And put a makeup sponge up there. Everyone knows this trick. If, if... What? Okay. Now right, tell me this. This is a new one. My oh, girl this... is waving no. She's waving no as if uh, she's trying to hold somebody off at third from coming home. <laughs> like, Do That's not hilarious. put a makeup Don't... sponge in your puss. No, no, no. Is this something that works for you, Wendy? Let me tell you. So, first of all, you don't leave it in for like 12 hours. I know people say toxic shock syndrome. If you leave anything up your cunt for 12 hours, you're going to get mm. sick. You know, toxic that's basic shock. biology. We all know. How about, right. how about a finger? Yes, for sure. It'll get, you'll get, it'll get gangrene. It'll get gangbang green if you leave a finger up there. It's probably hours. not healthy to leave one finger. You should alternate. Right. So a makeup sponge. Harry finger pops till his fingers are like prunes. <laughs> like he's been in a bathtub for three hours. You ever see hours. the hands of a rock climber when they're done? <laughs> <laughs> like hanging off a cliff, like Stallone and cliffhanger? That's what my hands kind of look when I'm done with a session. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's why your girlfriend's waving you off. She's probably oh, yeah. like, no, 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 keep recording. Get your fucking hand. Because that's, that's not that's a gentle, terrible. that's not like a gentle lover. That's what I want, a calloused mitt grinding up against my cliff. <laughs> very, very, very sensitive and very sweet with, and very good with my hands. Very good yeah, with my hands. Yeah, but the makeup sponge, so this yeah. is a trick that I learned. From an old pro, this chick who's been was like in the business for a long time, an old podcast I used to do, and you you take the round kind, and when you're on your period, it was a trick she would use because you can't like your it's work right. Still got to so, work. Right, and so you put it in cold water, and then you roll it up tight like a joint, it long ways, and then you just shove like you it do up. a like an ear plug. Yes. Yep. You roll it up, and then you just shove it up there. And then, like, obviously, then, like, rinse off or whatever. It's the outside. And you can have a guy. You had can't guys just like, keep red fingernails? No, no, I mean, you could if you want to. <laughs> but I've done that where I have that makeup sponge up there. And the guy will go down on you. And you can't. There's no scent. There's no taste. It don't taste nothing. like pennies? No, it does not taste like pennies. <laughs> Mm. It holds everything in, and it feels like the inside of your pussy. It feels like flesh. It feels like he's off. banging your guts. Yeah, so he can't it because it forms to the the wall, the inner wall of your vagina. So you can't feel anything. So they don't know the. How difference. you get it out though? It go probably could. It comes out super easily because it's round like a disc, yeah. and so when you're done getting railed, you just you like sit on the toilet. Or like you can stretch, but if you when you sit on the toilet to go pee, you can just take like one finger. Again, we don't leave our fingers in there for more than five minutes. This is not an overnight operation. You just put your finger up there, and mm -hmm. it takes maybe like two minutes, and it just kind of slides out, pull it out, and trash. It's super easy. I've fucked I've fucked condoms off and had to fish them out. Yeah, yeah you can get. Yeah, but that's it's not easy. Well, that's not your easy fingers. To do. Your fingers aren't designed to 
a lady needs to do it to ourselves. Your fingers are designed to make it feel good for a couple of minutes, but it's not designed to go up there and do all kinds of extractions. That's, That's where like, you're wrong. I put on a miner's hat. I'm down there for, <laughs> I mean, a good amount of time. You know, I send, I a, I send a canary in there to make sure it's okay first. That's my first step. It comes back alive. Then I hook up the harness. I'm good to go. <laughs> You ever yeah. lose a condom? In anybody ever lose a condom? Yes, in you? most definitely. I've I've lost. Like somebody. just like, no wait. lost up in somebody. Like where's well, the condom? I, mean, I, I like, guess I'm, in general. Yeah, I misplaced one before. Uh, yeah, not <laughs> not not in which wrong pocket you put it in the wrong <laughs> pocket. Like, I'm saying in the wrong bag. <laughs> like you lost I misplaced it in the... it before. I left it at the airport <laughs> at baggage claim. And you know you hit your pockets, and you'd be like, "Damn, Damn I, had I, I know I had it. it. I had a joint." My bad. Uh, Harry, you lost one. Oh yeah, it's it happened, it's happened a couple. I lost times. one for a day and a half, almost two days. Oh no, that's not happened. And then I was fucking her again, and I was like, Psh, "What is this?" I'm like, Who, <laughs> "You fucking somebody else." She's like, "That's yours. You lost that yesterday." And then you went voila and pulled it out like it was a scarf from a magician's hat. I, it it yeah. turned into a, a flowers. Like, <laughs> and how uh, was the smell of the? <sighs> after a couple days, it, was too, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad because it was kind of like I mean she still walked like it was so deep up and you know how the cervix is that little the little ball in the back. It mm-hmm. kind of went up into the little crevice beside the cervix so you lost it like a golf ball and and that you hit into the woods <laughs> right. You're like i guess i gotta take a, a point off because i can't find this fucking you ever eat ritz crackers and uh and 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 no with no water and then you get to you gotta do this in the back like to pull it out like right it was like lost and then i yanked it out it was too it wasn't it smelled bad though you ever yeah eat ritz crackers <laughs> but no <laughs> Oh my god! I don't so, know. Wendy, I want to ask you how's how is aside a couple things? How is the sugar daddy, daddying, if that's the verb for it, uh, different over there than it is in New York? Any differences? Um, it's pretty much the same. I will say the guys out here are calmer because they're not on a bunch of cocaine and Adderall okay. because they're not a bunch. Of, they're it's not like Wall Street finance bros. I had one experience. So is it like with, what kind of guys got like uh, guys who own lumber yards and shit? It's like fucking Midwestern guys. Grits. And, good grit eating Americans. I mean, it's kind of hot. Like I read the dudes out here. This the dudes out here are sexy because they all do manual labor and the women all just sit home and take care also, of kids. Also and, do manual labor. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's, Shit, my wife made my wife cut a cord of fucking lumber yesterday. A whole yeah. cord. <laughs> yeah. But no, it's really nice. I mean, and th- it's just it's different because there's not a lot to do here. But there are a couple of restaurants where mm. you can go inside, and there's one place with a heated patio. But I really like it. I mean, it's it's honestly not that different. It's I think it's like anywhere you go, you can find certain types of Isn't people. Isn't that is not that different because the world is pandemicized right now? And then the ones we're not pandemic in no more, we're going to be different again? Um, I think you're right. Yes. Once we're not pandemicing anymore, and I would like <laughs> to submit that word into the dictionary because I do like it. I like it. Um, yeah. When we're done pandemicing, I think it'll be, I mean, New York is always the best, though. It's always the fucking best. Yeah, I you went would back, come back. I was back there in November. But I mean, would you come back and stay? Um, I would love to. Yeah. If I could. Make it where I was able to bring in money and have a nice place. Because now that I'm here, it's one of those things where I'm like, oh, it's nice to have a bigger apartment and mm-hmm. more space. I'd not be super stressed out all the time. And if I were able to get into a workflow where he's making enough money. But I got to be honest with you. After having lived in New York for six years, it is kind of nice to be here. Because mm-hmm. I'm right by the air, the St. Louis airport. Um, is a major hub southwest so it's super cheap and two hours to get to new york mm-hmm. and when things open up and clubs and we can start touring again you can are you, you doing any comedy out there are they doing anything is there a, a scene out there um Same. not really there's the helium comedy club but it's indoors at a mall and i'm not trying to mm. fuck with that right now it's, but then are they are they still open or they shut down now too i think they're open yeah <laughs> st louis is two hours from new york yeah, by plane. It's different rules. Son. By plane. By plane. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, I wasn't gonna like take a s- city bike there, huh? How far is St. Louis? Google it. South? You got a phone? Yeah. 
What is it yet? <laughs> Ooh, hostility in this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. I'm not hostile. I have no idea how hard is my car. Andre, you really <laughs> fucked up this time. I fucked I mean, up. you all, you all. Listen, we knew it was up. fucked up when we started asking how many bags a day are you smoking. That's a. <laughs> there's no situation where anything should be consumed by the bag full, and it's all right. <laughs> It's my fault, you know, Wendy. What is your fault? Was he smoke? He wasn't smoking when you were here. When you used to come and do the show, right? Um, maybe a little bit, but not a lot. No. Uh, yeah, it's my fault. Did That's you get hilarious. him? Yeah. Have you Everybody knows my habits so well? I wonder. <laughs> oh, Jesus, this is beyond. You really. What is this up. accent you're doing? <laughs> I feel like you're having a psychotic break right now because this is the fourth different. I'm not. I'm going to say dialect because you're doing straight up dialects and character. <laughs> <laughs> your bot, this is like a. Like, he's not like, going to remember any of them though. So this is like John matter. Leguizamo. That's Yo, what I feel like we're watching. Said, All of a sudden, he's like, "Orale." <laughs> Saint Saint Lou is four hours from New York, so I'm going to say y'all was wrong. I, I guess. All right. He got you in a lie, Wendy. I I guess it, it, apparently by plane is four hours. I think that might be with That's the time differential, actually. At, well, yeah, because I'm, I'm an hour behind you guys. I'm on central time. And uh, that might be with a connecting flight with a direct, yeah. not to be a bitch, but um, you need to look up direct flights. Direct flights are like <laughs> right around two hours. Sometimes. And with that St. Louis cooch money, Wendy is flying direct. <laughs> dude, can I tell you? It's still dude. coach, but it's fucking direct. Yeah. Dude, do you uh, first class? Snacks for everybody. I'm getting snacks. Can I tell you this? If you're flying, which I mean, whatever, it's not safe to fly, but kind of, anyway, whatever. If you are going to fly, buy a regular ticket, and when you check in, upgrade. I've The few flights I've taken, I've flown first class every time, and it's been like under 200 bucks each time. It's crazy. Wendy, let me ask you a question. Um, what is sexy, uh, like, when you said Western, uh, Midwestern dudes are sexy, explain what you mean by that, and explain why it's sexy, if you could. Um, I think the big difference with Midwestern guys, especially versus I'm from LA and then being in New York, they, and then I'm not trying to be like, they work with their hands. There's something that's very rugged and very masculine about guys out here because there's none of the, and I don't, I love a well-dressed man in a suit in Manhattan, but a lot of those guys that I dated in Manhattan and like they, they have very soft hands out here. They're successful, and, like, this one guy, I mean, he runs, like, a medical company, but he also used to work in construction. Uh, and, and I would say that, for me, it's the hands. I mean, the hands are a little bit more rugged. Like, Harry's hands, after he's done aggressively fingering his girlfriend, just shriveled and callous. Scooping the gooch. Uh, right, where it feels like... Tickling oh, the romantic, gooch. Romantically yeah. high-fiving my girlfriend. Thank you We very call much. it right. tickling the gooch. <laughs> But yeah, there's just something a little bit, and I hate to be the, you know, if, if there are chicks listening, I don't want to be like, she's supporting toxic masculinity, but I like I, I, a little no, bit. But I, I, we don't give a fuck about that. Look, okay, good. I, I asked you what you found attractive, and mm -hmm. so I think listeners would be interested to know what a woman finds attractive, and what is it about rough hands that, that you find attractive? I just, I like to be manhandled, and I like to be submissive sexually. Right. Because right. I'm such a bitch in my everyday life and constantly just kind of you where you have to run things and be, you know. So I like to be a little submissive and I just like the rough hands. I like knowing that if I was misbehaving, it's like, oh, this motherfucker could kill me. And so that to me is a turn on where it's like, oh, you could murder me and you have three different pickup trucks. So and you could put. And you're not. Right. And so it's nice. It's hot because you could murder me and it's romantic mm. because you're not murdering me. Uh, well, so now we figured sweet. out why Wendy chose St. Louis out of everywhere in the country. <laughs> that is funny. nearly a HBO documentary that you're watching. You're like, hmm. <laughs> the, the HBO documentary that she didn't get paid for. Right. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. These, it, these cons. I always wonder that. I was, you know, I mean, I, I have an understanding of it in a sense because I know what women have said that they like about me. But I, I always wonder what the it, it, it it's interesting to think that you're like, oh, he could kill me, but he he doesn't. That's He's my so favorite sweet. thing about you As every time <laughs> I hang out with you and I walk away not murdered. I'm like, God, Dante like, uh, probably could fuck. Um. <laughs> 
You listen, hands don't lie. You I know. know Look I mean? at your hands. That's, that's great. I'm trying to think back, and I guess, yeah, I guess I could have killed every girl I was with. Yeah. I think there's not one that would have overpowered me. That's, that, I don't know how that I don't makes know me about feel. That, Maybe Harry. that one, that one. That one. How many push-ups <laughs> did you do? How many what? How many push-ups could you do? I feel like a couple of your chicks could have fucked your ass up. Oh, Andre, wait a minute. Speaking of push-ups, can I be a real perv right now? Did you do uh, some push-up challenge? Because I, I now that I'm talking to you and you said push-ups, I remember at some point in quarantine you posted some picture with your shirt off, and I was like, yeah. Jesus, fuck. Yeah. Yes, son. What was that challenge that you did? Because you look fucking incredible. It was um just it was push up challenge, but it was just I did it because I do calisthenics anyway. So it was like I'm used to doing a bunch of reps. I'm just you know, I'm just like that anyway. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yeah, I'm always like that. I'm always rep. Do, <laughs> like I have a, a new theory to help like to help people more repetitions when they can't, right? So say you're trying to do more push ups and and you're struggling, right? I think you should just spread them out throughout the entirety of the day. So, like, break them up in brackets. My God, no one's ever heard of that, Andre. Thank you. They haven't <laughs> fucked hard because you don't do it. I don't like Andre. Andre's I don't audition actually to think be that a, would work, uh, but we'll talk about it that would. off the show. I don't, I don't like Andre's audition to be on Wu-Tang Clang, The Next Generation. <laughs> you like how he leaned in? He's like, hold on, get ready. You guys are going to freak out. Yo, spread them out. Y'all not spread trying to maximize your muscles. Yo, yo, hold up. Everybody <laughs> quiet. Spread them out throughout the day. <laughs> the Andre's the day, personal yo. trainer a wife hires clearly because she wants to fuck around. Like, <laughs> has no I'm just in that bitch stretching for hours, never doing anything. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, the husband's, the husband's like, hey, babe, uh, I set a tape recorder out and I heard you just guys screaming, spread them, spread them, spread them. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the push ups, the push ups. Yeah, I'm no like, now shorty deeper. <laughs> and, and, and Andre, if you like to the, to the husband, yo, name five cats, yo. <laughs> That's your own, no fucking cats. You don't know cats. <laughs> Burmese, exactly. you went deep on that, son. And then the husband doesn't fuck him up. He's like, that would be beating him up a mentally challenged child. I can't. Legally, that's got to be responsible. That guy just asked me about five cats. It's got to be illegal to punch this guy. Harry, did you name a cat yet? All right, then. Shut your ass up. <laughs> Lord, Harry, I want to see you name at least one cat. And not the ones I named. A Cantonese? Let's see. Uh, no, that's that's Chinese food. I don't know cats. I don't like Stupid cats. Stupid motherfucker, stop talking so much, man. I don't like cats. You don't I like cats, you, but cats you like steal, China. Cats Shut steal, up. The, steal your breath. <laughs> steal a fucking baby's breath. He said, name, a, name, name a cat. cat. Pet that's cemetery. Said, yeah, I know. Harry's like, I'll name a cat for you. My favorite type of cat is yeah. a dead one. That's dead my cat. fucking submission to this game. Uh. Cat. Uh, I like an animal who could protect you or do something other than just look at you angrily. Fucking... They don't protect you. They don't. I, mean, son, I get it, but son, no rats. As soon as they smell a cat in the house, they like yo. I'm, they protect you. Right? I'm out of here. Mm. What happened to your rat problem? Did you get an exterminator? So, no, somebody he had somebody, the guy killed, so he couldn't sniff. <laughs> somebody, somebody, <laughs> the neighbor next door moved out, and they had like a a boarding home. And like a bunch of kids in there renting all the rooms, like it was all cut out. And then all of a sudden the rats went crazy. So I was like, I would leave the garbage like downstairs on the first floor to, you know, you remember my house, right? So I'd leave it on the first floor and then they would go into the, into the, the, the rats would go in the garbage and pull the diapers out. It'd be all over the floor. And I was like, what the, f then I went down to the basement. And it was like, <laughs> you hear all kinds of scrambling and shit. So, so you had first, legit rats. I thought it was a mouse son, You had like New York City rats. Son, they was okay, sure. wilding out. Yeah. And so I we, going through your trash trying to see like what can we fucking sell on Craigslist? There's a pandemic. Yeah, was None busting. of us had jobs. They were, these <laughs> these rats were going through his trash and drinking his liquor. That's the yeah. thing. These are aggressive rats. They yo he went up mail. in the bread box, pulled my loaf of bread out. And put it on. I came in. It was slices of bread on the floor. They were shit in your toilet without flushing. These are rats. Yeah, we keep leaving. Hear the, the clickety clack yeah. of their fucking nails, Yo, and they're they out there wrong. playing. So dice what we did like was we borrowed somebody's cat. Somebody was going on a trip, 
to their parents or something, we borrowed two cats. We watched them. We, we cows, cat watched them. But what they don't know is we just threw them down in the basement and it was just like, bah, bah, like WWF all fucking, <laughs> all fucking Yo, night. Them cats got rabies now. <laughs> Did you really? That's good. Super yeah. smart. You just starve the cats. They're like, here's your food. And you're like, no, I mean, we, we have fed them. They food. came up to feed, but then they, you know, then they went down. As soon as they heard the scratch, and they was like, ah, they was like, they was on it, and just. Oh, all... your neighbors like, how come my cat looks like he just got back from Vietnam? What's going on? <laughs> this cat is shell shocked, yo. He was he a just, little. He was a little he just dirty sits, smudge. Sits in the dark watching black and white TV, man. So what, they what they love do? killing rats. Mm -hmm. So this, it was. Down in the bit, so he would come up and eat, and then go right back down. So let's go, let's get it. And then we didn't have no rats for a little while. And then, as soon as the smell went away, I was like, I gotta get a. Cat. And then I got a cat. We got a cat. But the cat, the cat, you know how we got the top floor. The cat was on the boxes in the corner where I keep all my junk. Slid off and fell, hit the banister, and fell to the first floor. Pretty so stories. he's a little bit, he's a little bit retarded. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh a little because it was a kitten. He's a little retarded, oh but he's good. <laughs> Is he safe? So, so wait, your what? cat did a Mick Foley and fell <laughs> off the top story. Stop, stop. <laughs> Sorry, hit the band and then hit the ground on the first floor. And that, so now he, when he lays on me, he he just he licks my skin. Like he just, he's like, I'm like, all right, well, you know, he did hit his head and shit. I mean, fell off. It was a kitten. Cats? When did you get your kitten? I now I know I know Harry's like, can we please stop talking about Love cats? I, I can't get enough of it. <laughs> can't get enough. Well, at least this is something. Look, this is fine. Cat is retarded. That's a fine yeah. story. The cats well, now your your cat's mentally disabled. But right, the licking, a, yeah, the licking your face is normal. That's what cats do. That's how they let you know that they like. No, he licks my arm. Yeah, that they're head. grooming you. That means that he loves you. Yeah. Yeah, that's because he's he not really. He's like, I love you. Like, he's retarded <laughs> and shit. I love you. I feel you like you're a big the lick cat, that too. The lick is, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like, he's licking a, a window. Like, he's licking a window. He's like, you look like a big cat, too. I'm like, this cat is retarded, yo. He can't open the door. You know how cats will open the door? If it's cracked, you know, they'll push it and he. If the door is this close, he's locked him. He'd be a great prisoner. You can leave the door open. <laughs> you can leave it ajar, and he'd be like, "Oh, I can't, I can't find a way out." So I got. Well, he's man. a kitten. He's a baby. No, he's right? a cat now. He's just oh. dumb now. Oh, oh. <laughs> little guy. Yeah, but he's, but he's, he's fucking. He's fucking up them rats though. So now, I mean, he's not, you know. he's not growing out of it. Is what Dante's saying. You know, this he's not worrying about be. paying bills or nothing. You know what I mean? He's I'm just picturing your son, this like overgrown <laughs> one year old, smoking cigarettes with a retarded cat. Oh, <laughs> this is, that is my house. And my wife with her British accent just <laughs> sound like Mary Mary Poppins' husband. Would you like some, some tea? <laughs> like, yeah, why not? As much as I'd love to keep talking about cats, we got to wrap up the regular show, but we're going to continue over. <laughs> At Patreon, everybody, and I swear to fucking God, we're we gonna, gonna get talk the, about cats. No, we're gonna get we're dirty. Talking about cats, we're gonna no, ask no, Wendy no, some no, more no. questions. Maybe we're gonna ask her if she ever got got. I want to know about that at any point in her life. Um, and uh, there a cat nearby? No fucking cats. We're, we're done with Let's the fucking the cat talk. Let's uh, do the plugs, everybody, <laughs> for the Wendy regular plugging. show. Join us over at Patreon, patreoncom slash manschool 202 if you want to keep up with us. And uh, we're gonna be doing bonus shows and other stuff. So sorry, Wendy, go ahead, Wendy. Get all your plugs. Um, follow me on Instagram at WendyBird82. That's W-E-N-D-I-B-I-R-D-8-2. And follow me on TikTok. I am loving it over there. I'm posting every day. My tag is The Helpful Ho. Branding, huh? baby. <laughs> nice. Nice. Dre? I'm Dre D. Thompson between spots. And that's everything, yo. <laughs> My God. Harry? Uh, I'm going to be trying to get Andre to go to rehab. Um, so if you want to <laughs> join us for that and ship in, uh, you can go to my website, IHateComedy.com. You can check out all my stuff on uh, social media at Harry Terjanian. Uh, join us over Real Man School 202 on Instagram. We're going to be doing some live stuff soon, I swear. And of course, uh, the YouTube page. And the you Patreon. Can see this video. Yeah, the Patreon. But also the YouTube page. You can see all the visuals. You can see 
uh, what Wendy's apartment looks like and what Dre's new background. What's your background today, Dre? We didn't even talk about it. What's the avant God? Dre, uh, Dre seems to have passed out. Some fly yeah. shit I made. Some fly shit he made. All right. This is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go to the YouTube channel because if you're bummed out with us talking about cats, I think if you watch how excited yeah, we are be, while talking about cats, it'll, it's gonna it'll really sell. add to it. It's sell. <laughs> this is uh, Andre. This is like Lil Wayne's deposition. Remember when Lil Wayne was <laughs> fucking yo, yo, yo my I future. All right, all right, guys. Thank you for joining us. Uh, join us over at Patreon if you want. We're gonna continue a bonus show with the fabulous Wendy Starling. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The Sexual Revolution being podcasted. Yo, I love y'all. Um, check us on Patreon. We are out. Man School 202 is created by Dante Nero. Hosted by Dante Nero with Harry Turjanian and Andre D. Thompson. Produced by Harry Turjanian. Executive producers Matt Kleinschmidt, Harry Turjanian, and Dante Nero.